Hi guys, my name is Cheney. I'm a co-founder of Apoidea, an AI company helping financial institutions to automate some of their processes, especially those like repetitive document processing work. Apoidea was founded in 2017. Um, it started from a group of friends of mine. Um, I was one of the co-founders and like three other co-founders who are also working in the financial industry. In the industry, we spend a lot of time handling all kinds of documents from news, reports, meeting notes, legal documents. The banks have been putting a lot of resources to automate the processing analysis of numbers. That's why there will be quantitative hedge funds, a lot of like VBA macro to automate those structured data in Excel. The computers haven't been smart enough to process those information in Word documents. And we knew that the AI finally is smart enough to process words. It's an area called natural language processing. And there was a really big breakthrough in 2018. We started our company with the hope that with the breakthrough in natural language processing, we can really start to make some meaningful restructuring of the process of banks and other financial institutions, trying to do less repetitive uh, documentation work and try to re-put more of our time in valuable things that only human can do. Uh, natural language processing is a subset within artificial intelligence. Um, the breakthrough of artificial intelligence coming from the use of a technology called deep learning, which mimics the way how human brains work. It's a process of hundreds of millions of processes running in parallel at the same time. So that's why we strongly believe in AI, in deep learning, that given the advancement in the hardware, there could be a lot more to be done by the computers, not by us and then we can really free our time out to do something valuable. A very good example of what we do is like we help banks to automate the process of financial analysis. So usually when a commercial bank needs to make a lending decision, especially unlisted corporate or SMEs, they will need to evaluate the financial status of that company by reading their audit reports. Of course, the audit reports will be prepared in a very unstructured way. Even though it's the same accounting standard, they may be using different specialty words. That's why AI can be part of the process to really guess and predict then we can extract the information put in a relatively structured format of uh, 100 to 400 fields of data. This way, we are actually helping banks to cut short their process from a three hour process into a five minutes process. Experience I had which triggered me to start this company. So when I was a investment bank analyst many years ago, I stayed very late with my associate. It was 3 a.m. So I was sitting next to my associate. She was also working very hard and very late. Then I check in, hey, what are you doing? Do you need any help? And I realized she was trying to copy a column of data one by one into a row. If we know Excel well enough, we know that it's just a right click, pay special, transpose, done in three seconds. But then because my associate didn't know like um, she can use this function, she spent her whole night copying each data one by one. It was a big shock to me why the bank is still spending so much time, so much intelligence of bright people doing simple and repetitive copy and paste stuff. It's time to put down the repetitive work so that we can put our intelligent brain into things that are more important to the banks, to our lives, to our families, to the society. Mm -hmm.